good morning to all of you. Uh, so, today <coughs> we are going to start a new topic that is aortic stenosis. Okay. Aortic stenosis means here we are talking about narrowing of the aortic valve. Now, what it is aortic stenosis is a is written as a s or a o s. It is a narrowing of the exit of the left ventricle of the heart where the aorta begins. Okay the part where the aorta begins there is narrowing and we know that aorta starts from the left ventricle okay jaha se aorta start ho raha where does it start it starts from the left left ventricle to jaha se aorta start ho raha hai wahan par there is narrowing okay so it may occur at the aortic valve or above or below this level okay so aortic valve mein it has narrowing may be at the level of the aortic valve, may be above it or may be below it. Okay? And if the, there is aortic stenosis, <coughs> it typically gets worse over time. Uska matlab, uh, age jaise badhte jayega, the stenosis will become more stenose. Okay? And symptoms often come on gradually with decreased ability to exercise, often occurring at first. So, what you have is exercise intolerance. The person will tell earlier I was able to do uh, these activities, but now uh, I can't do it. Okay, so these are uh, the uh, a basic introduction about aortic stenosis. See, this is the normal anatomy. Please understand this. See, this is the left ventricle. Okay, this part is left atrium. This part of left uh, is left ventricle. The here is the mitral wall between left atrium and left left ventricle and iota is here aortic valve is here okay aorta starts from this place aorta starts from this place and this is how it comes down okay so this this is the place where aortic valve, valve is there now this is right right ventricle from the right ventricle we have pulmonary uh, uh, pulmonary artery so this is the place where pulmonary valve is there here we have uh, tricuspid valve this is the right atrium right this is the right ventricle I think uh, this anatomy is now very clear to you. So, you have aortic valve at this place, pulmonary valve at this place, mitral valve at this place and tricuspid valve at this place and this is right, right, right atrium, right, right ventricle, this is left, left atrium, left ventricle and now we are talking about this aortic valve. This is the place where now stenosis is there. Now, how does it look, uh, look like? So, this is what it is. Okay. So, aortic valve has three cusps okay this is how it looks uh, looks like a normal one now if it opens this is how it opens okay this is how it opens but if it is diseased now this is how it is there okay the opening is very bad okay ticket now can you see this picture so this is uh, the part which is shown here now this is the area which is diseased now this is how this looks looks like now aortic stenosis same thing this is stenosis of the aortic valve okay and blood is unable to flow freely from the left ventricle to the outer during aortic stenosis we know that aortic stenosis is here so when the left left ventricle contracts the blood will not be able to pass through okay jo uh, aorta hai left uh, left ventricle se start hota hai when the left ventricle contracts blood isme theek se ja nahi payega that is the problem okay yeah, because it is narrowed uh, but blood does not pass properly to the uh, aorta and we know that aorta supplies is the only source of oxygenated blood to all parts of the body okay now what is it narrowing of the aortic valve which controls the blood flow between left ventricle and aorta okay so this is uh, uh, the aortic valve left ventricle and aorta ki beech mein what it is you have a aort aortic valve so what we have it is thickened and narrow and because of this the left ventricle also becomes thickened because it tries to increase the pressure to somehow send the blood through the aortic stenosed aortic valve okay now congenital aortic stenosis occurs in 3 to 5 per 1000 live births and males are more affected and is also associated with coactation okay uh, yesterday's class we have studied about coactation uh, where you have narrowing of aorta so this may be associated with aortic stenosis now the if it is associated with aortic stenosis 
then the problem is uh, uh, it is more problematic ok. So, uh, uh, this can occur as congenital aortic stenosis also which occurs in 3 to 5 males are more affected and associated uh, defects are coaptation of aorta. See this is degrees of aortic stenosis can you see this this is no, no stenosis and this is the uh, this is just a diagrammatic representation how 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 does this look uh, look like can you compare this one and can you see this last last one this is mild uh, more uh, uh, 1.5 centimeter square moderate is 1.1 centimeter square to 1.5 centimeter square severe is 1 centimeter square or less and this is uh, this is also a severe one can you see this so so this is how a uh, diagrammatic representation how the aortic stenosis uh, gradually increases. So, this is same, same thing here. Okay. So, the blood cannot pass through it. This is the left left ventricle. This is the aortic wall. Okay. So, uh, the bicuspid uh, aortic valve is stenosis. Okay. This is a congenital defect and tricuspid valve with stenosis. So, you can have bicuspid also and tricuspid also, but both these are stenosed. Now, what are the causes? First is congenital heart defect. Some, um, some children are born with only two cusps, but normal it is three cusps. Okay? Three cusps. Normally, kya hota hai? Teen cusp rata hai, but here congenital you have two cusps. Okay? Sometime rarely maybe one cusp also, which is called as unicuspid or maybe four quadricuspid cusp, uh, cusps. Okay? So, this can be normal is three. Peep, children can have two, very rarely children can even have one or may even have four. Okay? If, if it is one, we call it as unicuspid, if it is four, we call it as quadricuspid. Uh, the valve defect may not cause any problem still adult, adulthood. The, uh, um, it will not cause any problem if the if this stenos, uh, stenosis is of a very mild type. But as the age advances, the stenosis continue to be more and more. So, some people they come, uh, they know about the stenosis only when they reach uh, adult, adulthood. If the valve begins to narrow or leak, it may need to be repaired or replaced. Okay? So, uh, then uh, suppose if uh, problems are there, then the valve needs to be replaced or it may be uh, some repair may be required depending on the type of defect. Okay? Now, what are the causes? See calcium build up on the valve. Now, you have seen different slides where now we know where the aortic valve is. So, calcium is a mineral found in blood. We know calcium is present, present is blood. So, as the blood repeatedly flows over the aortic valve, calcium deposit can build up on the aortic valve. So, this is called as aortic valve calcification. Uska, uska matlab kya hai? Uh, blood mein calcium hai, ye calcium ka blood left ventricle se out a mein, har contraction ke samay it is flowing. So, what happens is gradually uh, calcium can deposit in the aortic valve, okay. So, isko hum kya bote? aortic valve calci calcification, okay. So, the calcium deposits may never cause any problem and this may, uh, the person may not have problem may be till ages of 70 or 80 as calcium deposit goes on increasing the person may have difficulty when he or she reaches 70 or 80, 80 years of age. But if you if some people if the, if, uh, there is a congenital aortic valve defect so what happens is calcium deposit result in stiffening of the valve cups at the younger age. Uh, calcium build up uh, is a what you call may be a normal process and the problem starts developing when the person is 70 or 80 years of age. But if there is congenital defects, abhi humne defect kya pada? Teen cusps ke jaga, do cusp hai, a cusp hai, char cusp hai, okay? There is narrowing of the aortic, aortic valve which we studied uh, that 3 to 5 uh, children per thousand live, uh, per thousand children may have congenital uh, aortic defect. So, what happens is if there is any defect, to kya hota hai? Ye calcium deposit causes stiffening. Stiffening matla hard, okay? Stiffening means calcium deposit causes stiffening of the valve and when the valves are stiffened, valves hard hone se, thick se or, and what is the role of valve? Contract ho jayega and it will not allow backflow of blood. 
पर अभी अगर स्टिफनिंग हो गया तो देर इज ब्लैक लीकिंग देर इज लीकिंग ऑफ द ब्लड ओके लीकिंग का ब्लड ऑफ द ब्लड मतलब क्या है लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल का ब्लड पूरा एवटा में जाना था बट पूरा एवटा में ठीक से जा नहीं पाता जाने से भी कुछ अमाउंट ऑफ ब्लड वापस आ रहा है सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज लीकिंग ओके नाउ अनदर कॉज में भी फर्स्ट कॉज इज ओवर देर इज कैल्शियम डिपॉजिट नेक्स्ट इज रोमैटिक फीवर आई हैव ऑलरेडी सेंट यू थ्री वीडियोज ऑन रोमैटिक फीवर यू नो ऑल दिस थिंग्स ओके सो सम वॉट हैपन्स इज इफ दिस ऑकर्स एज अ कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ स्ट्रेप थ्रोट वी नो दैट रोमैटिक फीवर ऑकर्स ड्यू टू ग्रुप ए बीटा ड्यू टू थ्रोट इन्फेक्शन और फैरिन जेटिस बाई ग्रुप ए बीटा हिमोलिटिक स्ट्रेप्टोकोकल इन्फेक्शन ओके सो इफ यू हैव रोमैटिक फीवर देन दट वॉट हैपन्स इज दिस ऑल्सो कॉज दिस प्रॉब्लम इन द एटिक वैल्व ओके दिस क्रिएट्स अ Uh, this can narrow the aortic valve or it can create a rough surface in which calcium deposit can collect okay rheumatic fever mein do cheez ho sakta hai okay rheumatic fever kab hoga if you have repeated sore throat uh, kiske dwara group a beta hemolytic streptococcus okay uh, uske bare mein main detail mein nahi jana chahta because we have already taken taken the class but as a complication what happens is aortic also aortic valve also gets affected so what is the issue आउटिक वॉल में दो चीजें हो सकती है फर्स्ट इज इट कैन कॉज नर्विंग ऑफ द आउटिक वॉल सेकेंड इज रफनिंग ऑफ द आउटिक वॉल सो इफ द आउटे वॉल बिकम्स रफ एंड फिर ये जो कैल्शियम डिपोजिशन है दैट बिकम्स द कैल्शियम डिपोजिट मोर ऑन दफ सर्फेस ओके सोमैटिक फीवर में डैमेज मोर देन वन वन वैल और इन मोर देन वन 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 वे ओके सो दिस इज रेयर इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स Now, what are the risk factors? Older age. Uh, I have already told you uh, that calcium deposit takes time. The symptoms will be developing maybe after seventy or eighty eighty years. But sometimes there is a, a congenital effect, which is bicuspid aortic valve. History of infections, which can affect affect the heart. <coughs> For example, rheumatic heart disease. <coughs> this is if if you have a history of rheumatic heart disease, this can affect the problem. Then. in adults if diabetes high cholesterol <coughs> sorry high blood pressure this can predispose for aortic stenosis crf and history of radiation therapy to the test, uh, chest now what is the pathophysiology blood flows from left ventricle through obstructed aortic valve into the aorta first step kya hai left ventricle se blood aorta mein aa raha hai kis type ke aorta valve kaisa hai it is obstructed or narrowed okay so what is what is the issue there is increased left ventricle pressure to overcome the resistance of obstructed wall ab kya hoga left ventricle will try to increase the pressure so that somehow the blood should pass through the obstructed area theek hai now the issue is aorta is the only source of oxygenated blood to all parts of the body theek hai kal hum log ne क्टेशन ऑफ आयोटा पड़ा ठीक है उसमें एक स्लाइड मैंने बताया था आर्च ऑफ आयोटा आर्च ऑफ आयोटा में आपने देखा होगा दी फर्स्ट टू ब्रांच ऑफ द आयोटा इज कोरोनरी आर्टरीज फर्स्ट टू ब्रांच राइट कोरोनरी आर्टरी एंड लेफ्ट कोरोनरी आर्टरी फर्स्ट ब्रांच ऑफ आयोटा इज राइट एंड लेफ्ट कोरोनरी आर्टरी आप लोग में से जो वीडियो देखे हैं आई थिंक यू विल रिमेंबर दी आर्च ऑफ एटा ठीक है अब नाव इज यहाँ पे क्या लिखा है माओकार्डियल परफ्यूजन में बी इम्पेयर ड्यू टू इंक्रीज ऑक्सीजन रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दी हाइपर ट्रॉफी लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल एंड द अमाउंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन दैट कैन बी सप्लाइड टू द माओकार्डियम ठीक है इसको मैं एक्सप्लेन कर रही अभी क्या स्थिति है आयोटिक वेल्व नैरोड हो गया है ओके लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल ट्राइज टू इंक्रीज द प्रेशर सो दैट द स्टीनोस वाले जगह से कुछ हद तक ब्लड चले जाए ओके सो वॉट हैपन्स इज इफ दिस कंटिन्यूज फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम सो माओकार्डियम रिक्वायर्स मोर ऑक्सीजन द माओकार्डियम रिक्वायर्स मोर मोर ऑक्सीजन नाउ इज लेस ऑक्सीजन इज अवेलेबल वाई क्योंकि ब्लड ठीक से जा ही नहीं रहा है ओके सो माओकार्डियल परफ्यूजन में भी इम्पेयर ड्यू टू इंक्रीज ऑक्सीजन रिक्वायरमेंट जो नॉर्मली जितना ऑक्सीजन चाहिए उससे ज्यादा अभी चाहिए वाई बिकॉज द माओकार्डियम हैज टू वर्क 
more to compensate for the uh, lack of oxygen. ठीक है आप समझ रहे हैं मैं उम्मीद कर रही हूँ माओकार्डियम को और काम करना है और काम करने के लिए और ऑक्सीजन चाहिए क्यों ज़्यादा काम करना है बिकॉज द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल हैज टू एग्जर्ट मोर प्रेशर टू सो एज टू शंट द ब्लड फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल इन टू दैरोड आयोटिक वैल थ्रू दैरोड आयोटिक वैल पर अभी स्थिति क्या है आयोटा में कम ब्लड जा रहा है कम ब्लड जा रहा मतलब कोरोनरी आर्टरी में भी कम ब्लड आएगा सो इवन नॉर्मल सप्लाई इज एफेक्टेड तो यहाँ पे द प्रॉब्लम इज द ऑक्सीजन रिक्वायरमेंट इज मोर ओके एंड द अमाउंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन दैट कैन बी सप्लाई टू द माओकार्डियम सो इट क्रिएट्स अ प्रॉब्लम नाउ दिस रिजल्ट इन फेलियर ऑफ लेफ्टिकल माओकार्डियम में जितना ऑक्सीजन मिलना था नहीं मिल रहा है सो दिस कॉजेज फेलियर ऑफ द लेफ्ट लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल सो इफ द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल इज नॉट फंक्शनिंग प्रॉपरली और पंपिंग प्रॉपरली दिस विल लीड टू बैक लॉक ऑफ ब्लड इन लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल एंड सब्सिक्वेंटली लेफ्ट एट्रियम अब क्या होगा देर विल बी पूलिंग ऑफ ब्लड देर विल बी पूलिंग ऑफ ब्लड इन लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल का पंपिंग जैसे कम होते जाएगा दिस विल कॉज बैकलॉग ऑफ ब्लड इन लेफ्ट एट्रियम ऑल्सो अब लेफ्ट एट्रियम में बैकलॉग होगा तो द ब्लड फ्रॉम द लंग्स विल नॉट बी एबल टू एंटी टू द लेफ्ट एट्रियम सो दिस लीड्स टू पलमनरी एडेमा ठीक है Uh, I will just revise it again. The blood flows from left ventricle through obstructed aortic valve into the aorta. ठीक है? Left ventricle से मुश्किल से blood aorta में जा पा रहा है because stenosis is there. तो अब इसमें क्या होगा? It will the left ventricle has to work harder to pump to increase the pressure so that the blood has to uh, can be pumped to some extent. Okay? so this leads to left ventricular hypertrophy now the myocardium requires more oxygen kyun taki pumping badhana hai okay par issue bhi kya hai pumping uh, badhane se bhi it requires more oxygen but the supply of oxygenated blood to the myocardium is impaired kyun kyunki aorta mein blood hi kam ja raha hai blood kam ja raha to jahan jahan supply ho raha that all will be less and we know the first two branches of aorta is right and left coronary artery so that gets impaired okay now the next issue is this causes when there is lack of blood supply there will be left failure of left ventricle failure of left ventricle matlab theek se pumping nahi ho raha hai so though, so this will cause backlog of uh, blood in the left left ventricle subsequently right uh, sub uh, subsequently left atrium and it finally this will lead to pulmonary edema why because the blood from the lungs will not be able to uh, bring the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the uh, left atrium because of backlog of blood in left ventricle left atrium also now what are the symptoms fatigue upon exertion failure to gain gain weight uh, poor feeding and breathing problem so these are the Uh, because of the pulmonary edema the breathing problems will be there and uh, breathing problems can another problem of, uh, uh, another issue with breathing problem is lack of oxygenated blood supply is there so naturally the uh, child will be breathless there can be uh, chest pain rapid fluttering heart uh, heartbeat trouble breathing uh, feeling dizzy or light headed maybe the child may even faint difficulty walking short distances there will be swollen ankles or feet difficulty sleeping or needing to sleep sitting up because the child is breathless can't lie down properly decline in activity level or reduced ability to do normal activities so these are the symptoms now uh, what is a cardiac examination if you use a stethoscope you will use uh, hear a harsh systolic murmur heard heard at upper right sternal border okay there can be ejection click may be heard at apex and left sternal border okay there can be palpable supra sternal notch thrill so these are the three things you can use uh, here from a stethoscope first is at the upper right sternal border you can hear a harsh systolic murmur at the apex and lower left sternal border there can be ejection click and then can be pal palpable supra sternal notch thrill okay so this is Uh, um, these are the things which we can uh, uh, study in cardiac exam examination. 
ECG may be normal or may be may uh, show left ventricular hypertrophy. Left ventricular hypertrophy does not occur overnight. This continues depending again depends on the severity of the defects and to what extent is the uh, oxygen supply maintained. Chest, chest x-ray may be normal or can be there can be a dilatation of ascending aorta may be seen. See this is aortic valve which is second intercostal space and right sternal space. Okay. So, uh, these are uh, the cardiac exam examination. In eco echocardiogram, uh, we use the sound uh, sound waves as you can see see here. We we can know which type of aortic stenosis it is. Uh, any associated defect like coaptation is there or not? We can find out. High left ventricular hyper hypertrophy and the ejection of the left ventricle can be found out by eco echocardiogram. By doing a cardiac catheterization, we can find where it is and the size of the stenosis. In severe stenosis, the aortic pressure uh, is abnormal and left atrial pressure is increased. So, all these things can be found out by cardiac uh, catheterization. Okay. So, <coughs> what we do is um, uh, treatment for infants with severe valvular aortic stenosis, surgery is done. So, what we do is aorta is incised. Aortic valve commissures are incised to open the leaflet freely during systole. Okay. What we do is uh, the stenosed uh, um, uh, leaflets or cusps they are cut so that it can freely move. So, this is one of the operation. Second is balloon dilatation I will be uh, showing uh, the slide on that. So, that is called as aortic, uh, aortic balloon valvoplasty, valvuloplasty. So, catheter is placed across the aortic valve inflated to separate the leaflets and then deflated and removed. So, this is what we do? Balloon ko insert karte hai, jaha par aortic uh, valve hai, vaha par usko inflate karte hai, inflate karne se jo narrowed cusps hai, wo thura separate ho jata hai, fir aap wapas khich uh, lete balloon ko. So, that is called as balloon dilat, uh, dilatation. If there is aortic insufficiency, to aapko aortic valve replacement karana padega. Okay? See, this is balloon valvuloplasty. Ye dikh raha aapko, yaha par uh, aortic uh, valve uh, tha stenosed they introduce a balloon or yahan pa inflate karte hain aur inflate karne se yahan jo narrowed cusp hai wo wo theek ho jata hai so that is a balloon valvuloplasty theek hai artificial art, uh, aortic valve ye dekho this is artificial aortic valve okay this is the last diagram for that okay now, uh, another problem is another treatment is Kono procedure. What is Kono procedure? So, this is done in subvalvular aortic stenosis. I was talking uh, in earlier uh, slide that aortic stenosis can occur at the level may be below or may be, uh, uh, may be above. So, this we are talking about subvalvular aortic stenosis that is below the aortic valve. So, what we do is, uh, so this type of stenosis is there because a fibrous ring is present. So, what we need to do is the obstetric membrane has to be removed the or the fibrous ring which is present that is to remove the widening of the outflow area has to be widened and the valve replacement has to be there. So, this procedure is called as Kono procedure. So, what we do is first step remove the fibrous ring which is present, second is the outflow area is widened, third is replacement of uh, aortic valve is done. So, this is called as Kono procedure or what you can do is, uh, if the obstruction cannot be relieved, sometimes obstruction is so uh, so tight that obstruction cannot be relieved. So, what we need to do is a valve conduit is placed from left ventricle to the descending aorta. Conduit matla pipe like structure. So, if you agar valve ko replace nahi kar pa rahe hain, ya uh, stenosis ko dur nahi kar pa rahe hain, to aap kya kar sakte hain? Ek artificial pipe kaha se left ventricle se descending aorta mein connect kar denge. So, that with each, uh, with each contraction blood uh, yaha se nahi jayega, but is pipes ke dwara siddha descending aorta mein chale, chale jayega. Okay? So, this can be uh, done. So, this, this type of procedure removing obstetric membrane, whitening the outflow area, replacing the valve is called as Kono procedure. Okay? Uh, then is supravalvular aortic stenosis. Okay? Supravalvular aortic stenosis. So, this is repaired by incising the narrow segment of the aorta. Excuse me please. So, for supravalvular aortic stenosis, uh, 
uh, what we do is we repair by incising the narrowed segment of the outer and widen the area by aortic valve. So, okay. So, agar, uh, see we have uh, discussed three things. If valve have problem, hai, valve replace kar denge, okay. Niche problem hai, what we have studied in, uh, in sub, uh, sub valvular we have to do with the cono procedure. Okay. If it is supra valvular, supra valvular the valve ke upar ki taraf problem hai. So, what we need to do is jo narrowed segment hai, okay. This narrowed segment has to be widened or jo wide wall area hai, wahan par hai, patch laga denge. Okay. So, this is supra valvular aortic stenosis. Okay. Now, uh, what can you do for prevention? We have to prevent rheumatic fever because uh, aortic stenosis can occur as a complication of rheumatic fever. So, if you uh, take steps to manage rheumatic fever, then you can be, uh, you uh, can be, uh, you can prevent aortic stenosis which occurs as a complication of rheumatic fever. Okay. So, whenever you have strep throat, uh, throat so that has to be treated uh, promptly because uh, and rheumatic fever is common in children and uh, this <coughs> uh, if you have a streptococcal infection antibiotics are available and it has to be treated okay because uh, rheumatic fever occurs due to repeated attacks of <coughs> the strep throat now is addressing the risk factors of coronary artery disease we have we have studied the in the uh, in the causes so uh, coronary uh, artery disease ke kya risk factors hai? can be high blood pressure, obesity, high uh, cholesterol. So, the, if these are the causes then it can lead to uh, aortic stenosis. So, uh, these things has to be controlled. So, it is good idea to keep the weight, uh, blood pressure, cholesterol level under control if you have aortic stenosis otherwise the problem or you will have symptoms at the earlier age. Okay? Now, these are the causes and risk factors hereditary you have to be careful then uh, high levels of blood these 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 are the uh, risk factors of, for coronary artery disease so if you have coronary artery disease this predisposes for aortic stenosis so smoking has to be avoided blood sugar has to be controlled obesity has to be reduced blood pressure also has to be reduced uh, the fat uh, which is uh, consumed that has to be decreased lack uh, the exercise has to be improved because lack of exercise is another cause of uh, coronary artery disease then stress also increases coronary artery disease. So, these all needs to be identified and managed. Next, next is taking care of teeth and gums. Okay? So, there may be link between gingi, uh, gingivitis and infected uh, heart tissue that is endo, endocarditis. So, if there is inflammation of the heart uh, tissues, so this can aggravate aortic valve stenosis. Okay? Kya is mein bata rahe hain, agar gingivitis hai, gingivitis ko isko bolte hain, infected gums, then uh, the uh, uh, gum, uh, gingivitis can also uh, predispose for infected, infected heart tissues that is endocarditis. Agar endocarditis hai, to aortic valve stenosis honne ka chances hai, because inflammation of heart tissue caused by infection can narrow the arteries and can aggravate, matha badha dega aortic valve stenosis ko, okay. What are the complications? Heart failure, stroke, blood clots, bleeding, heart problem that is erythemas can take place, infection that affects the heart such as endocarditis and, and can even death. Okay? So, that was all about uh, aortic stenosis. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you for a patient listening.